Hello everyone, right now I'm feeding birds. I've got some lovely chicken food I'm going to show you that I've made. Keeping all the livestock healthy and happy over winter is really important to me. So uh, I like to make my hens special food. I make all the animals special food when I can. It's been quite a busy patch, so I haven't really had a lot of time for special food. I like to cut up all the scraps into little pieces and give it to them. We have leftover rice. We have little bits of spring onion chopped up, little bits of carrot chopped up and there's all sorts of other little treats in there for them. I take all the scraps from the kitchen when I'm cooking and as I'm chopping everything up I put all the bits that are left over that don't go into the cooking pot to one side and then I chop them really small and that is the bowl of food that I give to the birds. Now you may wonder why I give them so much attention. It's like, well, you know, people may ask me, why do I bother to make special food for my birds? One, I love my birds, but most importantly, we love golden yolks. very wet and cold on the farm this time of year so one of my plans for the new year is to put in some drainage here as this is our main kitchen here so uh, this is a natural place where we want drainage to go into the pond and I've dug a pond I'll show you here behind me is the small pond that we've dug and uh, I can still probably do more digging and make it deeper. I would ultimately like to have some fish in here, um, but certainly at the moment I'm considering having this as a duck area. It's a orchard, um, so we're trying to keep this area control grazed, but it's also important that I have an area for my horse. So we have this little area, he comes in and grazes it and keeps it down, but I suppose the more trees I get in here, um, it may eventually not be a paddock for the horse anymore, but it is at the moment. Managing the land in the wet weather is quite a full-on and full-time job. So I just pull out the bottom hay. This hay is a bit smelly and it's the edge of the bale. So I'm pulling all of the edge of the bale out and chucking it down. And that is keeping the horse's hooves dry. Here he is, he's coming over actually. Hello Sonny. You come and say hello. He's a good boy. Puddles here. So every time a heavy horse stands on it, you get all this wet, squidgy ground, and the hay just keeps covering it up.
pigs got out of her pen. Rosie's digging a big hole in my field. I'm going out now to sort out Rosie, get her back in, get all the pigs fed. So that involves making sure that I'm well wrapped up for the occasion. Get my scarf on. Keeping warm. <clears throat> the temperature's gone down a bit today. It's been really mild. So, before I can go out anywhere, I have to put my mud boots on. And I'll tell you, in this job, it's really important to have good footwear because as you get older, your feet become more painful. So the quality of your footwear means everything. Let's go. Let's go and see what this little pig's doing. Right, Rosie. Are you coming in, dear? Must be feed time. Come on, Beatrice. Hello, Beatrice. How are you, lovey? Come on, off you go. There's a good pig. She's a good pig. roughly a kilogram scoop, it's just a bit on. You have to think of it like an adult pig gets three kilograms of feed a day to maintain their weight of a large black pig. They're quite big pigs so they grow really big. They grow slowly, but they grow big, and they need plenty of feed. Especially this time of year. Last of this bag in there. So that's one bucket filled for one pig. sacks are 25 kilograms so it's quite a heavy weight there's a lot of heavy lifting involved with farming these bags just rip open really easily if you take the top paper off 
bucket of shake. Bits out. This is the busiest hour of my day. Okay, so I've got a smaller bucket of feed here, which I'm going to go and run down the field with the pigs now and get Beatrice back into her pen. Right, it's going to be really hard to film this and walk with, a, with the camera, but I'm going to do my best. Here's the bucket of feed. Here are all the pigs following me behind.
that's the third feed they've had today. This litter of piglets. Little and often on the cold days, that's what they like. It's a full time job. Let's get this electric fence back on. Goats eating the feed. There you go, lad. Needs water. What's this soup of mud you've got in your water, Bertie? I'm going to have to pull that out. I wish I'd worn my gloves. They actually like mud in their water. I'm using my knee to nudge the water in so that it all goes into the pan. All the pigs fed now. Next we have the hens that need their food, so I'm going to get on with that. And I also have to do my eggs, so my day isn't over. I'm going to have a cup of tea though, I think. <laughs> 